Hi, this is the Outdoor Tech Trek Guy bringing you another review of another torch. And this is one of my all time favorite everyday carries, also known as EDC. I use this torch literally, it's my go to torch, and it never leaves my bag really, which you know is a good thing, it means I'm actually using it, it's intended purpose, um, and it works very well for me. I've had it about six months, so I think uh, it's fair to say I've had a good chance to use it out in anger. Um, I've dropped it a few times. Um, it gets used actually daily, so I think um, I'm qualified to give you an honest opinion. So the torch itself is extremely well made. Um, it's solid stainless steel. Uh, you do have a ring pull on the back of that there. Um, and. I believe that's able to withstand uh, 30 kilograms of weight or crush load that is so um, extremely well made um, hard wearing turn it over to the back and you have a nice belt clip can be used in a variety of different ways um, hook it to your belt hook it to the underneath of your hat on your webbing um, so quite versatile carry and you, as I said you've got the keychain here uh, you've got a nice information panel, a um, LCD display there, doesn't take up hardly any power so um, no issues with extra drainage on the battery. It's just a very very small consumption of power but very useful display. Moving around to the front uh, you've got the LED bulb in here which is a very narrow, um, sorry shallow set and has got a very narrow reflector in there. So it's not a wide beam, wide beam torch. Um, it's not intended to be a wide beam torch. Um, I'd say probably a couple of meters, um, but that's perfect for an everyday carry. Um, it's not a, got a wide flood. Um, it's quite focused, but not overly focused. It works quite well. Um, moving on to this side, micro USB charge port. I wish they'd move to USB-C. But um, I can see some Night Dog Course products actually now moving away from micro USB to um, USB C, which obviously supports uh, faster charge speeds um, and it's fast becoming universal standard now. Um, but it's not the end of the world. You do have a nice rubber cap there, uh, which must be placed and pushed in if you want to keep the sort of water um, uh, ingress protection, should I say. Uh, it's not fully waterproof, it's water resistant. Um, so um, yeah, all in all, extremely well made, um, very light. The battery is 1200 milliamps, it's a non-removable battery. Um, the charge rate on this is probably just over half an amp at five volts. So you're looking about three hours, just over three hours for a full charge, which is not bad. Uh, we'll have a look at the charge status and uh, battery load um, towards the end of the review. So without further ado, um, go into some of the buttons and the menu functions here. So that's the power button and that's the actual options button there. So um, you press the power on and as you can see at the moment, it's a very handy digital lock. So it's a useful feature so um, you don't drain the battery or accidentally turn the torch on or off um, in your bag. Um, which I've done a few times and I didn't realize that the torch has got a lock mode. So press that and hold that down again, it unlocks. Uh, it goes to your last set um, uh, last set setting, should I say. Um, so you turn that on and you can cycle through that. So it's on 65 lumens. It gives you an average burn time uh, going through to 200 lumens and average burn time uh, one lumens um, average burn time, so it's quite a useful 15, quite a useful information panel. Um, so you can keep an eye on how long you have got left for the torch and the battery status, which is really handy, really. Um, so, um, and I find it's relatively accurate, works quite well. Um, the readings that I give generally within 10% of the actual values, so it's quite good. Um, you do have a two different demo modes on here. So at any one point, if you hold these two buttons down, you can go into a demo mode or you can cycle between demo and daily mode. So in the demo mode, um, the torch will actually stay on for uh, 30 seconds, regardless of whatever mode that you're in. Um, and it will save your battery. Um, if you just want it for quick use, just leave it in demo mode. 
you know it's going to go off regardless of you remembering to switch the torch on and off. So you can cycle through those by holding that down again and it will go through to the daily mode. Um, I normally have it on daily. Um, and the lockout mode here is you can hold that button down. You've got lockout modes one and two. Lockout mode one will actually lock the torch out, generally just lock the buttons out and stop you from turning the torch on. Lockout mode two will actually lock all the functions out, so including the turbo mode. So the turbo mode can be accessed by just holding the power button down there. And as you can see, it's in, um, sorry, the option button down there. As you can see, it's in lockout mode two. So at any point, none of the buttons are gonna work. So I need to hold that down, take it out of lockout mode. And I believe, no, you gotta hold both buttons down. Uh, nothing like a live demo when you forget to do it. Here we are, just hold that button down. It takes it out to a lockout mode. So at any point, if even if the torch is off, providing you haven't got it on lockout mode two, you can hold the button down and it takes it into a turbo mode uh, for instant high beam 1000 lumens you know you may need to instantly access that kind of light so you don't have to turn the torch on you just hold that option button down and it just gives you a burst of 1000 lumens um, it's a very handy feature there as i said you can sort of turn it back on there on and off and cycle through the different modes which is extremely handy and you get the information panel there um, just constantly updating um, and you know what's going on. Um, so it's very, very handy menu and digital readout. I didn't think an LCD panel would be um, very handy on a torch until I actually used this and I thought, oh, I do find myself looking at it because it does give you some useful information. It was on this torch. So to give you an idea of what it looks like. I know it's not a nighttime test, but um, hopefully it will give you a bit of an idea of what the bulb looks like um, at various different brightnesses. So that's where we've got um, one lumens. Uh, we've got 15 lumens there. 65 lumens. 200 lumens. That's extremely bright. And then if you want to hold it down for a turbo, and that's 1000 lumens. And obviously 1000 lumens is a limited time due to the small battery and the heat that it will generate but it's still fantastic so I'll just go through the modes again so that's 200 lumens 1 lumen 15 lumens 65 lumens 200 lumens and then 1000 lumens so fantastic amount of light from a torch at this small so I've just got my um, power bank plugged in here and at the moment the torch is on let's turn that off it's turned off at the moment um, you can see the battery voltage on here is just over 4 volts um, it's charging at just under half an amp um, an hour just under 5 volts so yeah you're looking about 3 hours just over 3 hours 20 minutes for a full charge it is just off under half an amp, so it's not fast charge, um, certainly not the slowest, but um, you are looking at a couple of hours on a fast charge. So potentially um, something that they could use as an improvement is USB-C, um, a torch that supports potentially GAN fast charging, or um, that will be the only couple of things I would say that I would put in for an improvement. It's slightly faster charge times, USB-C port, but apart from that, it's quite hard act to beat. Extremely well designed product, um, and one of my favorite everyday carries. Um, as I said, it's always in my bag. So I hope you enjoy the review. Um, feel free to leave any comments, any suggestions. If you have any questions about the product, I'm more than happy to answer. Um, and uh, thank you very much, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.